five-layer chicken casserole, which uh, is my family's favorite. We were not big casserole people growing up, but uh, for some reason, this speaks to all of us. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to make mom's uh, famous nut bread. So that's usually something I do just at the holiday season, but uh, it just seems like something that we could all use a little bit of nut bread right now. Yes, I think so, because, you know, the COVID diet plan is kind of out the window, <laughs> I think, until the gyms reopen. Well, so, it's healthy. It's got nuts and, and raisins in it, and, and we'll see it's, it's healthy. Fat and, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get started then. Jill's going to start here. It's easy. For, for me, she brought everything. So yeah. we're going to start with this chicken casserole. And you're going to squeeze oh. lemon. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, I have, I went to Costco, and I got one of their Costco chickens, which, you know, is one of the best bargains going. And you walk into Costco, and they just pull them out of the oven. They smell so good. They're like $4.99. It's a three-pound chicken. So uh, usually you gra grab one of those every time you're in. You can always find something to do with it. So I took all the meat off the bones, and I um, have a lot of white meat. This seems to have a lot of white meat on this, which is good because I like the white meat. So um, I've got the chicken that I shredded from Costco, and then um, I have... This is just a bag of broccoli florets, which um, I did a little steam on so that they're kind of a little par cooked. So when you put them in um, the oven, they're not going to be kind of too crunchy when you pull them out at the end after they've cooked. So I've got, um, I split the casserole in two. So Lisa and I will both have one. So I'm going to just take some spray, which is a brand new spray I found at Trader Joe's yesterday. Organic ghee and sunflower oil spray. I just thought that sounded really super cool. Um, I know ghee's good, and uh, it's organic. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to do a little spray on our casserole dishes so nothing sticks. And I love a guest who brings everything already re measured and ready, and they're going to make me dinner. <laughs> so um, the first layer is uh, broccoli. So I'm just going to put in some broccoli on both of these, kind of make sure it gets... Oh, evenly distributed. Evenly distributed. <laughs> I know. Some people like broccoli more than others. I personally like broccoli a lot. I like it. Um, and then what we're going to do after, before I put the chicken in, we have to make a mixture. Um, so I've got a can of cream of chicken soup, Ooh. which actually, this is fat free, or it's 99% fat free. So, um, and I have a, uh, a cup of milk. So we are going to, I'm just going to put it here in my little shaker jar. So we save a dish. Hey Deborah, how's it going? And Charlie and Head, how are you? There's my brother. My brother is camping, which I found out this morning. I'm like, why? Hey, he's camping somewhere in California. And there's Florence. Hey Florence, how are you today? And Rhonda, baby, how are oh, you? Yay. Hi Rhonda. And uh, Nick, how are you? We are making uh, a chicken broccoli casserole, easy for a weeknight. One of Jill's family favorites, and we're also going to make easy. nut bread. So she's putting it together together here. Okay, so I put um, the can of cream of chicken soup in with the milk. I've got a tablespoon of curry. Um, Ooh, I just kind yum. of pre-portioned all this stuff at home before I got here. I so. love curry. Yum. I need um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, so I'm just going to I'm gonna eye it here. Yep. I'm just got a little seed okay. in it. Oh, well, it's fiber. One, one of us will get the seed. <laughs> kind of like the king's cake, you know, in New Orleans. Let's, see, let's see who gets the seed. <laughs> 
Alright, so I'm just uh, shaking this up, making this mixture because this is going to kind of make a like a gravy situation going on. Yeah. Alright, so I got the broccoli in. I'm going to put some chicken. Yummy. So, and my hands are clean. I've washed them before. Let me move these so you guys can see. So here. we just kind of try to spread out the chicken evenly. And since I do have um, a lot of white meat, I'm going to try to get some of the dark meat in here for those that like the dark meat. I know Gary likes the dark meat too, but I'm a white meat girl. And I took all the skin off, you know, when I'm doing uh -huh. the chicken, and I cut it up into little teeny tiny pieces for my dogs. Oh, they they love happy dogs. Chicken skin. Oh my gosh. Well, we don't let anything go to waste, right? And if I was really super constructive, I would have taken the bones and boiled it and made broth, but you know. You go, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'll tell you how I met Jill here while she's Larry. I met Jill at an open house because that's how I meet most of my friends. <laughs> and she and her husband walked into one of my open houses at the beach and they were um, interviewing agents and obviously I made the cut. <laughs> Sold them a gorgeous home that was well over the budget that, we, that she gave me, which is always one of my favorite characteristics in a buyer. And then now we are just buddies and good friends and have had so much fun together. Um, and here we are now doing this. She is a real live actress, like for real, a real one. And so she's my first, I think, official real actress here <laughs> and friend that, that ran away from Hollywood and yes. moved to Ventura. Oh, so glad to be here. How do you like living in I Ventura? Love, I love Ventura. It's, just, it's such a nice place. And the weather, you could not ask for better weather. Mm -hmm. We lived in the valley for, oh, 30 years and it was, you know, 100 degrees six weeks out of the summer and that's too much for me okay so what I've done is I have put the um, the chicken soup mixture kind of like a gravy on top of that now I have um, cheddar cheese which Ooh. I had to shred by hand because Lisa doesn't ever believe in buying pre-grated cheese nope. so I think I gave myself carpal tunnel syndrome by <laughs> shredding all this cheese there's a tool for that <laughs> You know, if, if that's called the food processor, yeah. which mine is stuck under the cabinets, and I didn't want to bring it up, so well, you have a husband too. I have a husband. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, honey. Can you get me a thing? <laughs> get him to grate the cheese. No, because grated cheese, when you grate it yourself, makes all the difference. It melts. Oh, it's creamy. Sweet. It's smooth. Nice. And the stuff that is pre-grated, they put that coating on there, and it just doesn't melt, especially for a, a situation like this. You want it to be really creamy and yummy. Okay, so I've put um, approximately, I mean, the recipe said like four ounces, um, but since I kind of split the recipe in half, I, I probably put four ounces on each, so whatever. Can never have too much cheese. Never. Can never have enough. All right, so now what we're going to do is do the um, cornbread stuffing topping. So yes. this is Pepperidge Farm. I grew up in Connecticut, and Pepperidge Farm was like that's where they started so they had pepperidge farm stores everywhere and they make the most amazing stuffing and this i have to order special because it's cornbread they they serve or they sell the uh, the regular you know stuff bread stuffing yeah yeah but this i had to order special thank you amazon so, so you have uh, to buy the corn meat because they usually probably have it what during the holidays yeah but at the off holiday times you have to buy it online they have it at Gelson's. Gelson's is the place where they usually always have it, but yeah. um, since Gelson's is a little bit of ways away from here. So this is three quarters of a cup of melted butter. Ooh, so, uh, uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> everyone together now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you're not Paula Dean because you didn't do two sticks. <laughs> well, almost. It was a stick and a half. A booter, which called a booter. <laughs> And then we just mush this up. It's not like you're making real stuffing, you know. So you're just buttering up these crumbs because it's gonna um, just yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah. it's gonna go on the top, and it gets all nice and crispy and buttery, and the butter melts down and everything. So okay. So what I've done is I've just distributed the butter evenly, and then I'm going to um, oh, and if you if you can't find. Um, Pepperidge Farm, you can use Mrs. Cubison's, that's fine. And it's just, they, it usually comes with two sleeves in the box, you just use one sleeve. So this goes right on top. And I guess, I guess you could stick this in the freezer as is, but um, usually when I make it, it goes like right into the oven and right into our mouth. So, uh -huh. um, well, I thought we'd do something, because I know we're all going to be home with kids, at least first term it looks like. 
So if this is a family favorite of her family oh, they yeah. make all the time, then your kids will like it too. So we will, um, you know, and it's easy. Because okay. you get a, a rotisserie chicken uh, that's already done. Or another pack is to get the chicken breasts at Vaughn's that are roasted, not the fried. You can use fried ones too if you want, but they have them roasted there in the deli case at Vaughn's. Oh, they're already shredded. And they're, well, no, they come as pieces, but oh. the pieces are yeah. cooked. Oh. And especially when they're on sale, you get eight pieces for like five bucks or something. Oh my gosh. So anyway, then they don't have to cook the chicken and it's just a quick recipe. Awesome. So this mm -hmm. goes in the oven um, at 30, uh, 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Um, usually, I mean, if it looks like it's starting to brown and you see a little bubbling coming up on the glass, that means it's done. So yeah. easy peasy. That, that, how long did it take? Five minutes to put it together. Right. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's our this yeah, side. Put those right back here. And the next thing, I guess this would be considered dessert. Yes. Because um, it's it's a little special treat. Actually, I like it as a breakfast item. You know, I make little this nut cheese. bread. Well, you put cream cheese on it. I just like to toast it with a little bit of more butter because you can never have enough butter. So um, we're going to make nut bread now. So I have pre-portioned everything ahead of time. She's ready. She's ready. Do you it's want awesome. to spray? Oh the yes. Pan oh, look, I have our, new, our new ghee. Yes, our new ghee what? sunflower. Oil, oil fancy spray. organic Trader Joe's spray. There you go. Okay, I okay. got this. So what we have here, I have two and a half cups of flour. So and this comes together in less than five minutes too. So I mean, this all this stuff is, you know, anytime you have kids at home and you're a mom and you don't have much time to do anything, you look for easy and good. Okay, so that was two and a half cups of flour. This is a half cup of sugar. She wrote on all bags. Look, can you guys see? All pre-portioned. Oh, awesome as that. Um, this is two teaspoons of baking powder. So oh my gosh. baking awesome. powder is um, this would actually be a good gift for someone, you know, that's locked in, like a senior. Oh, that is a great idea. And you don't want to make the bread. I mean, I don't know, I guess you want to make 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 the bread, but you could also like look you at this idea. idea. Yeah, just say, yeah, just like, put it together as, as a, a gift. gift. Yeah, that's a and, great idea. You know, tell them to throw an egg and the milk in and boom. Yeah. And this is one teaspoon of salt. So mm -hmm. what we've done, and let me just make sure I got everything here. Let me show, let me show them that. So I printed out, she sent me her recipes. And look, can you guys <laughs> see? They're handwritten by her mom. And Actually, when I this one's them, mine. This, this was my mom's. This one's okay. my mom's. Aren't these cute when I printed them? I love these. And they're stained beyond yes. belief because you can tell that they've been used a lot. Uh huh. Okay, so flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And then um, I've got a cup of milk here and an egg. So we're going to just add that. I like to always add the egg to the milk first and just stir it up a little bit so that it incorporates a little bit better into the dry ingredients. In fact, I'm just going to mix up the dry ingredients a little bit. I have a bigger. funny story about Amazon Prime that just happened today. I was out doing my day job showing real estate this morning, which is what I do during the day, GaryandLisa.com. Um, but I bought this Malden sea salt that you guys saw me make those chocolate chip cookies on Wednesday with the sea salt, the flake salt on top, and they were awesome. But then I went to the P.O. box on the way home to today, and look what was in there. <laughs> this like is, a this is like a bucket salt. of Malden sea salt. So the curious thing about this Malden sea, sea salt, because I think it's enough for like five lifetimes, you hear that? It's like, I don't know, how, let's see how big this thing is. It says 1.4 it's, it's kilograms. kilograms. So I, so I mean, it it's a lot. So I don't know, because I was researching salts the other night in the middle of the night, because what do you do in the middle of the night? <laughs> and I don't know if I ordered this, because I can't remember, but it's not in my Amazon Prime account. It's not on my credit card. And so I don't know if Malden saw my show on Wednesday, and they sent me enough to last a <laughs> lifetime. So if you need any Malden salt, here you go. Or the other warning is shopping online at night. You might get a bucket of salt. <laughs> <laughs> I said she should open it up, so make funny. sure that's salt in there because it could be <laughs> any other things. Okay. Hey, Erin. So what we've done, um, I've just mixed up all the ingredients. I've got a cup of walnuts. Now, I put walnuts in. I guess you could put in pecans or... You know, whatever, whatever else you, you like. like. Yeah. It's COVID cooking, whatever you have. That's right. Throw them in. And a cup of raisins. Yay! So, oh, yeah. um, all you do is just incorporate those and, and get them all together. Yeah. And all, it's all set to go in the pan. Yeah. I'm a more things in the things, the better. So, nuts, walnuts, chocolate chips, 
in cookies too. Coconut, if there's more things Ooh. in there, the better. Yeah, well, that we probably throw in whatever you wanted to. Coconut or chocolate chips, whatever it's your pleasure. Um, or, you know, it would be good cran uh, dry cranberries, oh, raisins. Yeah. Those would be really mm -hmm. good. Especially like at the holiday time, I think raisins are like one of those built-in holiday fruits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to put this in here. And, you know, it's all done in one bowl. Well, except for the, you know, the, the milk the me milk measure. So, well, you know, today is happiness day. Whee! So you know how you bring happiness today? You make nut bread. Yeah. <laughs> and chicken casserole. Yes. Yum. Okay, so I'm just getting all the rest of this stuff out. Awesome. And then, um, look, just kind of even it out here. No matter what I do, it always comes out looking loafy. Low you know, like with a big split in the middle, and it, it's never... The director's talking. <laughs> Hi. Yes. It's like, don't forget to look at the camera, Jill. <laughs> I'm cooking here. <laughs> she busy. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay. And by the magic of live television, da-da-da-da, guess what? It's all done and ready. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> This is um, um your plate. We'll cut yeah, that. Yeah, we can show. cut it so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, and you get some of that nice fresh European butter or sweet butter or cream cheese or cream cheese. Yeah, I see this comes right out. Oh my gosh, there you go. Oh, you put, should I put that there? Put a slice, slice it so you can show okay. the show your beautiful things inside it. Have a band-aid on my thumb from sweeping after the demo, the tile demo, you know. And this is what the inside of the nut. Oh my looks gosh! Like. Look can at you that. See, it's got you know just as I like hold it up so Instagrammers can see. I can coarsely see. chop the nuts so they're not mm. too fine because I think it's nice. You know, when you cut it open, you've got a great slice of nut right there. So you have so. a nice. Well, I need to taste that yeah. before we do our birthday shoutouts. We have a bunch of them today. Okay. That's, yeah. that's it on my part. Mm. Yum. Delicious. It would be better with butter or cream, cream cheese. Cream cheese. What? Want me to hold up, Gary? <laughs> Throw me a piece. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, I ate the nuts out of that one. <laughs> okay, so we have today, I'm going to chew this, birthday shout outs today. Quite a few. Hold on. Let me get my... Her hat. Birthday shout out hat. So today, for birthday shout outs are doo -doo -doo -doo, birthday shout outs today is Phil Venti. Happy birthday to you, sir. Also, an, another client at, uh, and a friend, because what can I tell you? You turn into a friend if you're a client. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, happy birthday to Julie Hall. It looks like you had a fun birthday party last night, of course, very small. Um, and Christoph Chu had a birthday yesterday. He's a great uh, real estate. Agent in Beverly Hills, and looks like he spent his birthday at the Miramar, the new hotel. Looked beautiful and fun. Nice. And then tomorrow, we have birthday shout outs to Barbara Beck, my near and dear friend, um, Barbara, and to um, Tanya Brantley. Happy birthday to you tomorrow. And Laura Marquin are our birthdays for tomorrow. So, a lot of people in August. We got a lot of Leos. Um, and so, those are our birthday shout outs for today today and then we have our drawing and our guest picked our drawing for today. Want to talk about that? What it is? Yay! Uh, they're easy peel garlic peelers. Easy peel garlic things. They take the skin off. So you put the garlic I guess in this little thing and you roll it and you it takes it. the skin off. Right. How cool is that? I and I think ones. there's, if you go online, there's other things you can do with these too. So I mean I think they're handy dandy little kitchen aids. Well I try and help handy dandy in the kitchen. So if you have liked or commented on these videos and you know you can find us on Ventura Real Estate, our YouTube channel, please subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand and we're almost there. Um, and then they're also here on um, our Facebook, all the videos are here, and we will put these recipes down down below. So grab What's our your fish? fish here. Yes, so here we go. My sister made made the fish. So if you she like made that, well, I mean, made me put them oh. in, in, in there. She, 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 she was a glass no, blower. She didn't like one. Oh, she probably is. She, my sister. Um, so if you have commented or liked these videos, um, you are in the fish. <laughs> so we'll see who's winning today. Oh, look, Tess Middlebrook. 
actually has been a guest. We made the spring rolls. My new mom. So oh, Tess, yeah. Tessie, oh, once she moved away with the baby to Portland, I'm so oh. sad. And then um, Vivian Clark, winner, winner. So well, you are our winners of our garlic peelers, I guess, nice. to, to today. So thank you guys all for watching. And we will be having chicken broccoli casserole tonight. But so can you because it's an easy recipe. And we look forward to seeing you here live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And you can always visit us at GaryandLisa.com. You can visit us at YouTube on Ventura Real Estate. And we love seeing you guys here. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. Thanks for watching and thanks to my special guest, Jill Allen, for being here. Um, we love having guests. It's so much fun. So thanks for watching. Love you guys.